Basic fashion was mainly influenced by the kings and queens of the medieval era. While the birth of medieval fashion was rather simplistic, the term fashionable meant that you would dress as everyone else. Also during this time, the use of dyes became more popular and colorful clothing was just being introduced. The Crusaders have deeply influenced medieval fashion. The travels of the Crusaders influenced fashions by their contact with the Eastern world. The lower class wore cheaper material including wool, linen, and sheepskin. The silks and cottons came from the Middle East. Medieval nobles and upper classes wore more expensive materials such as velvets, furs, silks, laces, and cottons. Later on, men would style their clothes with jewelry and outerwear such as cloaks. Men's wear became more tighter fit. Early medieval fashion also consisted of kirtles, which were tunics that were worn to the ankles. During the medieval era, the way people dressed was important. Dress would determine one's social standing. In the 13th century, the surcoat was introduced. A surcoat was a loose outer coat or gown. It was looked down upon when people in the lower class wore clothing that was either too fashionable or too costly for their class. In fact, lawmakers tried to avoid this. Also during this time, gowns and tight bodices were adopted. During the 12th century, garments such as caps for women, robes, cloaks, pointed shoes, headdresses, and shoe bands were worn. At the end of the 13th century, luxury was at its height at the court of France. Fashion also became popular to men in France. Men in France also began to wear headdresses and sleeves that reached to the ground. Long cloaks and robes were also worn by men and women. Shoes during the time were starting to become pointed. The pointer the shoes, the higher class you would be seen as. Many people say that fashion began in the 14th century. New types of textiles were introduced during this time. New garments and new guilds were introduced to make control of manufacturing of textiles and clothing. Women also wore headdresses tied under their chin in order to give off a slimmer facial structure. During this time, wearing false hair also became popular. These men would wear very tight clothing. In fact, this, these clothing were so tight that these men would often need two people to help them to dress and undress. During the 15th century, accessorizing became popular. This was the period that people began to uncover their necks and wear jewelry such as necklace and chains. Men would wear long metal pointed shoes, conical hats, gold chains, and jewels. Women during this time wore long chains to their dresses. Women still wore headdresses that consisted of very large rolls surmounted by a high conical bonnet. Although it was only emerging, fashion meant well to the medieval society. Fashion is not just clothing. Fashion is an art, a style, and how one interprets that style. Fashion had affected medieval society and has evolved through the centuries. Medieval fashion is also a prominent factor in today's high-end fashion. Fashion is appreciated then and it still is now.